Hi, my name's Dave Milton and today we're going to have a quick overview on the MLRV. Uh, this is just a quick insight into the MLRV and how you set it up and what the inside of the MLRV looks like. So here we have the MLRV. Uh, you may note that this is a very short version. It's the one we use for demos which is ideal for to showing how this is set up because it's small and you can see the whole device. Uh, what can happen sometimes is the item will decouple or you've got a poor magnet uh, feel to it. It just doesn't feel right. Uh, the first thing that you should always do is make sure the magnet housing is fitted on this way around so that the thumb screw is facing the flange. If you fit it on the wrong way around then you only get one set of magnets connecting uh, which will just the device is just very weak. Now what happens if this, uh, this device decouples while you're using it um, will be this. So the inside will just run free. If it's running free away from the magnet you often cannot pick it up again. On the shorter one it just picks up on the first set of magnets. So as you can see it's connected to the first set but if I push it then it connects to the second set of magnets and then if I pull it back you will notice a gap here which will normally be about 12 millimeters from the magnet to the back of the housing. So that's what it should like when it's originally set up. So if this does decouple while it's in the vacuum you have to have something at this end that you can push against so you can load the magnets back on again. So if I just decouple it and then pull this back, that's the first set of magnets it's hooked onto, pull it a bit further, that's the second set. So if you're lucky to catch it on the front and you can just pick on the first set of magnets it's fine. If however it goes completely into the system on the longer versions this stop is further back and you just cannot get to the first set of magnets so you have to have some way to be able to push this back so it clips onto the first set of magnets push it against something and then locate it onto the second set of magnets so then again you can see it just comes to the 12 millimeters at the back So the other question we get asked is what sort of force does it take to decouple? Well, if I just put my, I'll put the cap on for this, so if I just put my hand on the end and to stop the shaft coming out, the magnet will move from this position to its decoupling position which is about 24-25 millimetres. So if I push it forward it suddenly decouples and that is about 24 millimeters. The force required to decouple it is about 14 pounds of force pushing to decouple. Just to recouple it and it's back to 12 mil on the back. Uh, another question we get with these is how do you take these apart if you want to check inside. Uh, we do do bearing sets for these so if a bearing does fail uh, you get a front and rear bearing set which you can order through sales for this. Uh, but I'll just show you how to do this. So with the magnet obviously it has to be removed from the device first or the magnet housing which I take off and this will now leave the shaft to run free inside. Of course if you're using this for an in-vacuum system you would be using gloves now uh, to do this. Uh, what you see on the end here, if you look very closely, there's a circlip and here is the end of the circlip which is just a loop. Uh, what you need is either a very small screwdriver or what I'm using here is a scalpel. Of course if you use a scalpel you've got to be very careful but a scalpel just gets under the clip quite easily. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll just remove that, making sure you don't catch the edge of the knife edge. As you see it's not easy to do. Once the clip is, first part of the clip out, it literally peels out, you can just pull it out. So that's what the clip looks like, it's just a spiral clip. Now, if you tip it forward, you can pull out the assembly. Now the front bearing comes out with the assembly because it just knocks out on the back. So this is your rear bearing, this is your two sets of magnets 
and then this is your front bearing which is your linear and also your rotating and these are the two that you can buy as spares they don't come with the bearings because they're quite expensive uh, sorry this main bearing here because it's quite expensive but it does come with the smaller bearings obviously which can fail so just to put it back in again and just make sure that's fully in like that so once the bearing seats down uh, then you can put the clip in so the clip just goes into the start of the groove and once you're once it's running in the groove it will run round again a bit fiddly you wouldn't believe how many times I've done this and I'm having trouble now probably because I'm looking down on it there and that's in so the bearing is, uh, the bearing is now held in by the clip so put it on the table put the magnet on making sure you've got this this end first set of magnets second set of magnets well that was a very quick video I hope you found it interesting because it does show the insides of the drive how it's set up and how to fix a problem if you have one if it was interesting please subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching.